morning youtubers this is duke uh somebody i'd show you a little bit more about this engine now somebody just found out it is a 2006 model now it's been stored inside inside of a shed so uh but anyway it must not have been long, run very long because here it is Well, the other day I couldn't even get it out. That oil is not even dirty. It's dirty down in there. Mm. The other day I tried to pull that dipstick out. No, I couldn't get it out. I can't get it back in now. Uh, the o ring broke on it. Yeah, the bottom o ring broke on it. Yep, I'm I probably got one of my kit to replace that. But uh, when I get done, it'll have uh, it'll look like a new mower. I hope I'm fixing to spray it down with some degreasing, awesome, and uh, give it a good spray job, spray wash. So uh, let's see how it turns out. I'll be back in a little while. I thought maybe I might want to see me do a little bit of work.
So that'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like when I get it cleaned up. Let me get you a little closer. Of course, they always look better when they're wet for some reason. That's just pressure, water pressure. There's no soap in that yet. So it might clean up pretty good. Here's the hood. It cleaned up real good. And once I put some soap on it and scrub it real good, it'll look even better. I have to take the headlights out and get the trash and dirt out of those. But haven't done the other side yet. You won't be able to see me doing that, but I figured you'd probably like seeing that. So I'll be back when I get it, finish getting cleaned up and uh, uh, so let's see what it looks like. Bye. Well, either someone that owned this lawnmower had chickens or they got some big mice or <laughs> rats. That came rolling out of the, underneath it. I don't know where it came from. I guess from off the top of the deck. Someone had chickens around it at one time. But uh, it's looking pretty good. That motor cleaned up good too. I may not have to use any awesome to degrease it. I didn't see any grease on it, mostly just dirt. As you can see there. Now, once it dries, it'll be a lot easier to tell. Uh, but uh, that's good enough where I can work on it. I didn't worry about the deck too much because I'll be pulling it off so I can replace the belts. I'll replace all the belts on it once I see if the motor runs. And uh, I want to make sure there's oil in it before I try to crank it. I don't think there's any oil in it. Uh, where it would have went, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I've got a little thing I can stick down in there and suck some of the oil out. And then uh, what I need, if I need to put some back, I got something I can put back into it. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. The wheels aren't dry rotted. Tires are anyway. And uh, they don't look like they've been used very much. It doesn't have an iron meter on it. And I can see one, but it does have cruise control and an amp meter. No iron, no iron meter. Damn, wish I had one. I'd like to know how many hours is on this thing. But it doesn't look like too many. So uh, uh, the reason I wash it today is because tomorrow it's supposed to rain. Got a 60% chance. I wanted to wash it, let it dry, and pull it up in, into the shop on the, uh, the uh, bench before it gets wet. I mean, before it rains. So uh, I'll be, this, this is chapter one, I guess, or part one. And uh, let's see, we'll call this the Troy Built. Let's see, yeah, Bronco. Troy Built Bronco, part one. And uh, you're going to see this from start to finish. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.